Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back today and we are firing along with a uh, Mega CD region free BIOS. Now, I got overly confused with these, but they're actually quite simple. So, we've got here the, uh, we're using the GQ4X, not because I don't trust the Mini Pro, but because I've had more experience with the GQ4X. So, if I'm going to do something on camera, I'm going to want to do it with the GQ4X. At least I know this way works. So we've got the 16-bit uh, adapter here. That's a uh, 27C1024 chip, which is uh, 128 kilobit, or 1024. No, uh, 10, 128 kilobyte, 1024 kilobit. So what we're doing is we're opening uh, GQ4X, which I will fire up right here. Our BIOS file is that little one there, so USC CD uh, 921011 region free, patched by one of the good folk on assembler games. So, all we do is we load, make sure it's bin. Why are there two bins? Sure. Go with that one. Make sure the file format is binary. If you have a look at the buffer now, it should have... There you go. So you can see right there, see your Mega Drive. So that's how emulators and whatnot read it. Now, because we're actually putting this on a Mega CD, uh, we want this to be byte swapped. Something to do with Big Endian, Little Endian. I don't know. All you do is that when you're doing a Mega CD BIOS, you zap the button, and suddenly Sega becomes eSagam, which has stolen the M off Mega. So that's kind of fun. So you make sure it's byte swapped. Make sure you got the right chip in. I don't know if these support IDs. No. Too old. Typically reserved for flash chips. So apart from that, all we need to do now is hit the write button and it will write. I did have that byte swapped around the right way, didn't I? <laughs> say these chips are as cheap as chips, but they're not cheap. They are chips though. Come on, verify. How oh, good it was the right way around. And down the bottom here, you get a little thing saying whether the device is verified or not. And it is. So, if we do a read... It reads back the same data, we byte swap it, and it looks all good. And that's, it's as simple as that on the GQ4X, but you've got to make sure you have this adapter, which, uh, which the software kindly tells you which one you need. Um, I'm not sure if the uh, the Mini Pro automatically byte swaps things for certain chips. I need to look into that. I also need a, a good byte swapping program. I don't know how reliable byteswap.exe is, but I guess I'll find out one day. Anyway, thanks for watching. Simple video, nice and easy. So now I can uh, ship this back to where it belongs. Thanks for watching. McRetro, out. Do 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 do